means all hands on deck for harvest at this farm. Teenager Joel Golding is driving the header to strip grain from the barley crop. In 40 degree heat, driving machinery is one of the better jobs. Well, it's good having the aircon there, better than being out in the stinking hot, so yeah, it's pretty good in the header. Younger sister Regan is driving the tractor and chaser bin to collect the grain. Chaser bin's a bit more chill though, because like you pick up and then you come back and you get to sit for a bit and just wait where the header you gotta be more like you gotta concentrate a bit more and watch for everything else when you're going. They have taken harvest leave from school as work experience was canned due to COVID-19. Yeah, well, where I go to school in St Francis, there's a lot of kids that have got um, harvest leave and they're out on the farm driving machinery around and that, helping out their families. Lake Kajeligo was in drought for the last three years, but this year, good rain has turned it all around. Yeah, it's good. Get a good crop off this year and, yeah, it's been really good this year. It's long hours, but they all love being part of harvest. It's just good getting out and having a bit of a drive around, seeing how good the crops are and um, just being with the family around here, I guess, just helping each other out and getting the crops off. Um, well, it's good because I'm getting time off school and that, which is real good, and then getting to be out with the family and that, which is good. Their dad says they are learning plenty of life skills. It's good to get them involved in their learning skills that are going to set them up for the future, hopefully, and, you know, skills that when they finish school is good, possibly they can pick up work anywhere. The teens have roped in some mates from Wagga Wagga to help. Um, so I've been well, waking up in the morning, coming out, helping service the header, then hop on the header. Um, me and Joel hop on and share throughout the day, so don't bloody... Um, get too tired. We usually go from like 8.39 to like back to 9 o'clock or 10.30, something like that. I'll stay on there for a few hours and then jump off maybe and stop with one of the other boys. While they can't legally drive a car, they have no trouble handling the huge harvest machinery. I should get me out and back. Yeah, you just got to take it slow and steady and just... Um, be like sort of gentle with what you're doing, just ease around and don't go too silly on it, I guess. Yeah, so I'm a bit cautious driving it because you've got to make sure you don't hit anything or do something wrong. Yeah, it is expensive, but don't want to wreck it. I put the auger down a bit too early once um, it, from emptying into the truck and made a spit a bit, but other than that, it's been pretty good. They will be back to school soon, but before then, it's back in the tractor for another lap around the paddock. I'd rather be out here any day than at school.